Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to World of Tanks. Cross Train here, and today I am joining you from another replay, but the replay is not going to be the focus of this video. I've been asked by several people on my channel um, if I could help them with mods. If, if uh, they, they see my screen, and I got all kinds of mods going on. If you look at the main battle screen here, I uh, look at my results screen, all this kind of stuff here. Um, I have a bunch of mods that I run, and some of them are cosmetic. Uh, admittedly, some of them are just kind of purely cosmetic. I like them. Uh, for example, um, my crosshair mod is mostly ornamental. I just like the way it looks, but it also is functional. Um, now, when I say functional, <laughs> Unfortunately for you watching this um, replay, it's not very functional because the timer, which is a cool part of it there, um, nice shot there, Cross. Uh, got a couple of ones in now, but, <clears throat> but the uh, timer I'm getting ready to uh, reset right now. Normally, uh, let me pause this and right here, uh, or underneath where it says ready. In zero zero, it actually gives you the exact amount of time to the hundredths of a second how long it's going to take you to reload. Or when you're already fully loaded, it just lets you know when you're going to, uh, how long you're going to be to reload. That includes if you get ammo racked, uh, where ammo rack gets damaged, uh, then it's basically double the normal amount of time, and that shows up there too. So it adjusts for that. So let's continue the replay for a minute. But um, so some of them are, are mostly ornamental, like my crosshair mod. Um, some of them uh, I think are extraordinarily functional, and uh, so I want to talk to you a little bit about them. Not really. Uh, we're going to watch a little bit of this replay. It happens to be one of the few good games I had my T57 heavy. Uh, so, thought I'd bring you bits and pieces of that. This is Pub Play, and I am playing today uh, with the Marauding Demon from Tactical Brotherhood, um, which is actually the clan I started. I uh, came over to Partisan to uh, play Clan Wars. Um, let's see, I'm going to put some work on this uh, 183. It's always good to take a, a lottery cannon off the field right there. Three shots makes short work of them. But uh, playing with Marauding Demon from Tactical Brotherhood and Joel uh, from Partisan also, uh, all three of us originally um, <coughs> members of Tactical Brotherhood. Like I said, it's a clan I founded, and we play. So let's take a look around, see what's happening. You see numbers floating um, off of these tanks. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with these kinds of mods, what this mod does is it tells you exactly how much you take. Um, a player for so any of those hits where I hit um, you'll see numbers floating there and you'll see uh, as well the uh, numbers uh, that come off my friendly tanks when they're getting shot so you know how much uh, they're getting hit for the scoreboards on the right and the left that are extremely colorful or of course those are uh, those are put together for statistical purposes, so they're basically XVM with win 8 ratings, uh, and, and players are colored by their win 8 rating. So, um, for yeah, most of us, understand what, uh, what these numbers are. Uh, but, uh, so that gives you some information there. Again, the scoreboard, when I hit tab, it gives me a lot more information right there. And uh, so, so I want to talk to you a little bit about it. And then, the, really, the big question that was asked is, how do I put those in my game? So let's talk about this for a minute, okay? Let me kind of explain the mods I have. So I'm going to pause this game right now because I want to talk about the scoreboard first. Talk about the scoreboard here. And um, I'm at the top of the list on the left. So let's just go over uh, what those numbers mean. On my scoreboard, and this is all a result of XVM. Um, my name is Green, first of all, because I'm a green XVM player, 1471 score, which is the third number in there. You can see that uh, that's my overall uh, win eight score. Uh, if you're not familiar with win eight, then what I said doesn't matter, and I can't explain it to you. So 
Uh, it's just a, one of the various ratings in the game. It has its flaws, but certainly it's one of the variables that you can measure players by. So my name's Green because I'm in that green category, which is, I think, top 10% of the players' uh, score on the server. Uh, you see down below me, there's a Jenny Moreno is her full name. Uh, she's a 2013, so she's a blue. And we get some yellows and oranges and even some reds. Um, although there's only one red on the other side at the very bottom. <clears throat> Anyways, in, in order those numbers are, the 7 means that's the average tier that I play uh, over all my games. Uh, my average tier is tier 7. Uh, 16K is the rounded number of battles I've played. Uh, again, my XVM score. The next number is my total um, win percentage, 52%. Uh, the next number tells you how many games, the next three numbers are all about this tank. So the first one is I have 100, somewhere between 100 and 199. What I've found is it does not round up. If you have a 1 at the beginning of the number, then it's 100. If it's 0, then you'll see some down here say 0, 100. But that H is for 100, so I've got over 100 games in this. I've got a crappy winning percentage in this tank, as you can see, 42%, although it is getting ready to go up in this battle, but <laughs> regardless. And then the next number is actually the percentage of damage versus your hit points that you do in average on this tank. So again, um, I, I'm still trying to figure out how to play this tank. So I'm not very good at it. It's a great example for you. Um, but then, you, so you can see that I do about 70% of my my tank's hit points, which I believe is about 2,250 uh, in an average battle in this tank. And then up above, you see standard battle, chance to win at the beginning of the battle based on the tanks and the tiers and the, all that kind of stuff. You see we're 58%, and it this point in the battle, our team has an 89% chance to win uh, this battle. If you go back out to the main battle screen, all of that is kind of minimized. Uh, up here in the, um, in the battle, you see you can see colors of players. Uh, this is my hit log. These are the hits that I uh, made. So you can see that I hit this um, this FV, the, the 183, the lottery cannon. I hit him three times for 1,009 hit points. I hit this uh, 5120 twice for 630 hit points. So I've done a total of 1,639 hit points with five hits uh, over the course of this game. If I had been hit, there's also a hit log that comes down here right next to my damage panel that shows me who hit me, how much they hit me, including bounces. So it does register bounces if somebody ricochets off me. This is my damage bar. I like the transparent damage panel, the transparent... Um, uh, module and consumables piece and then uh, up top here you've got uh, right from the very beginning these are just your tanks that are alive in the field uh, what types they are and then here you have total hit points so this is kind of interesting and I want to I want to actually uh, do this but so at the beginning of the battle it has hit points and every single hit that takes place in the field uh, this actually goes down. So you know, we know right now, the enemy has 3,260 hit points left in the field. We've got 12, almost 12,900, so that's pretty nice. It also tells you here, if you can read this, it's, it says high caliber, 4432. What that means is that in order to win the high caliber award, um, then you have to do 4,432 hit points of damage minimally on this map. So, uh, again, that's another mod that I run. And then finally, over here on my, um, on my mini-map, which is an extremely important uh, part of this game, the mini-map I'm talking about, if you watch this and you go, oh, I didn't really know there was a mini-map. This tells you what the situation is on the field, so pay attention to it. On mine, I have uh, this inner blue circle is actually my view range. Um, I'm not sure what this this circle is uh, maybe the max view range for this tank I don't know uh, somebody who watches this video might tell me and then the red line is your maximum draw distance so if an enemy is spotted outside of that I couldn't see them regardless because the game won't draw that far so um, I hope that's helpful this is what I run in here so so let me take you out and give you the really quick um, lesson on how you can get these mods and, and get them installed easily if you've never done mods for your World of Tanks game. So let me take you out of here and show you real quick uh, what I do. I use a program, an installer, a mod pack called OMC. 
Uh, it's the Odom Mortis something <laughs> mod pack installer. I will put these links in the bottom of uh, or in the comments of my YouTube channel. Uh, but you can go here and then right here it says download OMC mod pack installer now. You want to click on that, download this installer. And this is what you get once you fire it up and execute it and all that kind of stuff. And this is a mod pack installer that just has a ton, a ton of mods. I'll show you how I have it set up and how those play out. Um, again, all of those statistical numbers you saw is XVM, so you can choose one of many, many uh, different prearranged setups that are that are part of this mod. So I use. Um, uh, the clan icons for North America since I play on the North America server so that's what you see all of the anybody who's in a clan they have a clan icon uh, that shows next to their name so I put that up there uh, I also use Aslan's XVM config uh, I don't alter it at all so all of those other numbers are based on this player Aslan Aslan um, who, who uh, set up his XVM I like it enough to, to keep it six cents uh, I don't think you saw it on this replay, but you've seen it on some of my replays, and this is just the basic OMC signal. It's a big light bulb that shows up, and it beeps at me goes, eh, eh, or something like that uh, to let me know that I've been spotted if you have the Sixth Sense perk on there. Um, I use also Aslan's colored tech tree uh, vehicle list icon, um, and this is um, uh, in, your, in your garage itself. The contour tank icons. Um, Again, that's just the, the icons that I like uh, for the tanks. Uh, there's a crosshair. I've used Jimbo's for years. I use the op optimized aim uh, and then the full uh, arty ones. Uh, down to, I use the color crosshairs that I want. So you can see as I scroll down through this that there are just a ton of options. Um, and you can just choose whichever ones you want. Um, if you want to know exactly which ones I use, I would be glad uh, to tell you. If you're not sure what one of these does, um, here's, the, here's the beautiful thing about it, okay? Um, let's see. If I right-click on this, then it is going to show me this is what this is doing. So you can see that um, this one actually shows a battle score display. Okay, so you see the number of tanks. The, this shows the hit points and all that. Okay, so if you're not sure what something is, just right click on it and it will. Um, so I, I've got a clock in my hangar. I do this and that's what it looks like. It's got the date, the time, the uh, you can set it up to be 24 hour time or 12 hour time, uh, all this kind of stuff. So that's what that one looks like. Um, the multi tank carousel. This is one of my favorites and I, and I, I don't know if you've seen my garage before. I can't remember if I've, but I use a three-row. Um, and if there's no display for it, then what you get? Oh, nope. Then this is what you get. So there's obviously no uh, display for this one. Uh, but one time I'll have to show you that uh, in my in my uh, garage itself. But that way I can display. I can see a whole bunch. I have a hundred plus tanks in my garage. So when I want to look at just tier eights. You know, I might have, I don't know, 15 or 16 of them, um, so I can see them all at once instead of having to scroll. They're all just there. So, again, OMC Mod Pack Client, this thing is tremendous. Uh, I highly recommend you install this. I started, I used to do them the old-fashioned way, but this is so incredibly easy. Um, and when you're done, you just click Next Out. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to reinstall all of this stuff over the top. But, um, again, so I hope... Uh, that that is helpful and that you too can enjoy um, a little bit more optimized uh, game play in our world of tanks with some mods that will um, make your game more unique to what you want it to look like so again this is cross train coming to you from world of tanks Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you have, I would love for you to give me a, a rate uh, plus and up. Uh, don't give me a down. You can if you thought this sucked. That's good too. Uh, love to have you subscribe to the channel too. But uh, this cross train from World of Tanks.
Making mod installation easy for you from the OMC Mod Pack. You can thank those folks over there if you feel so inclined. You can actually make a donation on their website to uh, thank them for the work that they've done to make your gaming better. Till next time, this is Crosstrain World of Tanks, and as always, peace.